Can't you see the signs of the times? And don't you know that the time is sure? And soon the Lord. He will return. Will you be punished or get your reward? There will be no more time to get it right. When the Lord, when he stops in the air, so just keep your hands in his hand, and you be ready. When Jesus comes, will you be ready? When Jesus comes, will you be ready? When Jesus Will you be ready when Jesus comes? Will you be ready when Jesus comes? Will you be ready? When Jesus comes, will you be ready when Jesus comes? Praise the Lord, everybody. <clears throat> we thank and we praise God for his goodness this evening, and we praise him for his mercy, for his keeping power, and and his saving grace, we praise the Lord for this time and this opportunity for how he blessed us to still be in the land of the living, praise God, and just to be able to think of his goodness and all that he has done for us. God is a good God, praise the Lord. He is yet working, he is still moving, he is still proving himself. Praise God, we come just for a moment just to encourage your heart this evening to let you know that God is still on the throne. Praise God, he is still in a miracle working business. At this time, we're going to whisper a prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you and we praise you for your goodness. We praise you for your mercy. We thank you for your keeping power and your saving grace. Oh, God, we thank you for just being a great, big, wonderful God, always victorious, always watching over us. Lord, we ask that you continue to help us to hold to your unchanging hand. Oh, God, and to always look to you, knowing that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above, that we are able to ask or thank according to the power that worketh in us. Lord, we ask that you look on these, our people today, your people such a great people, continue to bless them, O oh God. Continue to encourage their hearts. Continue, O oh God, to bless them, to look to you and to hold to your unchanging hand, realizing that your God that changes not. You're the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. We thank you right now, and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Just for a few moments, praise God. We want to talk 
a little bit from the word of God. Because when we talk from the word of God, we can't go wrong. Praise the Lord. I'm, I'm a firm believer. I heard my bishop say this a long time ago. I saw it written down, or my wife saw it written, and that, written down somewhere, that you can't make up the truth. So as long as we go by the word of God, we are finding ourselves in the right path and going in the right direction every time. Praise the Lord. In the book of Isaiah, Isaiah, the 26th chapter, verse 1 through 3. Praise the Lord. And I'm going to read those verses right quick, and we're going to read a few other verses. It says, In that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation will God appoint to the walls and bulwark. Now, when we look at that word salvation, that meant that God was going to send them deliverance. He was going to bring deliverance to them. And when we look at the word bulwark, that word, it, that, it means a wall of defense. Praise the Lord. We find that the, the people, that God's people was in a place where they wasn't reverencing God like they were supposed to. So God was about to send the Assyrians there to take them in to captivity, to let them know that they needed him. But the Lord was letting them know through the prophet Isaiah, if they begin to call on him, that he would deliver them. He told them in that second verse, open ye the gates that the righteous nation which keep it the truth may enter in. All we have to do is make sure we keep the word of God and no matter what's going on around us, when we repent, he promised us that he would be just and faithful to forgive us. That third verse say, thou will keep him in perfect peace. No matter what's happening around you, no matter what it looked like or what you have been through or what you're going through, the word of God say, thou will keep him in perfect peace, who mine is stayed on thee. Why? Because he trusted in thee. We got to put our trust in God. We can't look at the things that's, that's going on around us in this world because if we take our eyes off of God, we take our eyes off the mark. Praise the Lord. And that 20th verse of the 26th chapter, that 20th verse, it say, Come, my people, enter thy into thy chambers and shut the door about thee. Hide thyself as it were, but a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. After we have come to him and, and we know that we have repented to him after we have messed up, God's anger is not going to last always. Praise the Lord. But in the book of Luke, the 17th chapter, it says, in the 26th verse, and it says, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it also be in the days of the Son of Man. Nothing has changed. Man say that they are turning to God, and soon as the Lord began to bless us, soon as he began to bring us out into a place that seemed like a land that's flowing with milk and honey, we begin to take our focus off him and, and then he has to send something in our way to let us know that in him there is a refuge. In him there is a hiding place. Praise the Lord. The 27th verse say they, they did eat, they drank, they married wise. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And the flood came and destroyed them all because they did not believe in God. 
Praise the Lord. And, and my thought that I wanted to leave with us today, and, and we need to keep this in our mind. Come on. Let's get it together. Can we, can, can, can we get it together? Can we continue to take God's word in and, and hide it in our hearts that we might not sin against him? Praise the Lord. And Matthew's the 21st, the 24th chapter, the 12th verse, and it said, because iniquity shall abound, because we still got this stuff in us. Praise the Lord. The word of God lets us know that we were shaping in iniquity and, and sin that our mothers conceive us. But because iniquity shall abound, we keep walking in our own way. The scripture let us know that there is a way that seemeth right unto a man. But the end thereof, it leads to death and destruction. But because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax cold. We have to make sure again that we keep our eyes on the prize. And I know you keep hearing me saying this, but and, and, and it seems like it's repetitious, but sometimes you have to keep saying something so you can get it embedded within you. Sometimes we have to let meat marinate overnight so the season can get in it. That's why we got to keep putting this word in us so we can just be a word people. Praise the Lord. In 2 Chronicles 7 and 11, it said, Thus Solomon finished the house of the Lord. And as I began to look at that, I, I began to look at how when, when we changed our lives over and we gave our lives over to the Lord, and how he began to to fix this old house up, how he began to make us over again. Jeremiah said, I, I, I dare you to go down to the potter's house. Praise the Lord. He began to say that the potter had the clay that was in his hand. It was mine, but he made it again. Can't you see God making us again? And this is what Solomon was saying. Thus Solomon finished the house. When, when we receive the word of God and we start, when we start to abide by what the word of God is telling us, the word is in us, you begin to see this house begin to change. And the king's house and, and, and that that came into Solomon's heart, he made the house of the Lord. And in his own house, he prospered effective. When we take the word in and, and we begin to grow in grace and, and the knowledge and of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, folk begin to see a change. Not only will people begin to see a change, but we'll be able to see a change. Even if people can't see a change, a songwriter say, you may not be able to see what the Lord has done for me, but the Lord is blessing me right now. Praise the Lord. In the 12th verse of that 7th chapter, and the Lord appeared to Solomon by night. How many times have God appeared to you? When I say appeared to you, how many times have he put his word in your mind and in your heart? And every time he put his word in our hearts and we go by what his words say, he blesses us. But if we deviate from his word, we have to suffer the consequences. And he said unto him, I have heard thy prayer, and I have chosen this place. I have chosen you. I have picked you out to put my word in you that you should project to the world that in me there is life. In me there is hope. In me there is deliverance. In me there is, 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 is healing, if you just trust me. And have chosen this place. To be my, for my, to myself for a house of sacrifice. We got to sacrifice our lives to him. We got to turn our life over to him. Paul said, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you what? Present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. He said, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed 
by the renewing of your mind. Why? Because this is God's house. We are no more our own, but we are bought with a price. And the Lord is looking to hear from us. He is looking to bless us if we keep the focus. Come on now. Let us get it together. In that 13th verse, so he began to talk to Solomon. He's Solomon and he said, if I shut up heaven, that there will be no rain. Or if I command the locusts to devour the land. And if I send pestilence among my people, look what's happening now. Look what's going on now. But we have a God that's able to do what? Exceedingly, abundantly above that we are able to ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. We have to let the word work in this house. And the Lord began to tell Solomon to tell my people, if my people. Everybody ain't God's people because everybody is not listening to the word of God. He that has an ear to hear the word of God say, let him hear what the spirit have to say unto the church. But if my people, which are called by my name, there is a name above every name. At the, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that he is. And that he is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. That are called by my name. Listen what we have to do. We can't boast in ourselves because everything we have, we got it from the Lord. But if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves... We have to humble ourselves under the mighty hands of God. And when we humble ourselves under his mighty hand, he's saying, due times, I'm going to deliver you and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. We have to do all of this. And once we have done this, he's a God of his word. He said, my word is gone out and it shall not return unto me a void. It shall accomplish what I sent it to do. But when you humble yourself and you pray and, and you seek my face and turn from your wicked ways, he said, then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. What's the matter with us? Why can't we see God working in our behalf? Come on. Can we get it together? This is what the word, we are God's people. We are a chosen generation. We are a royal priesthood. We are peculiar people to show forth the praises of him who called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Yeah, the things we do sometimes, the people going to call us simple. They're going to call us foolish. But if we don't mind being called simple, if we don't mind being called foolish, maybe the Lord will have a chance to be seen in our lives. So come on. What you waiting for? What are we waiting for? Come on, let's get it together because time is winding up. Today is our salvation nearer than we first believed. Let us stay focused. Let us be encouraged. Let us know what the words say, that the race is not given to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, but he which is my people, he that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. You might have a little trouble, or you might have a little trial, you might have some things that come your way, but he let us know in his word that there is no weapon that's formed against us that shall prosper. And nay, in all of these things that we are going through, we are more than a prosper. We more than a, a, a conqueror. Because God is on our side. He told us if he be for us, he's more than a whole world against us. Again, my subject for this evening, my topic for this evening is, come on, let get it together.
Can we get it together? God has given us ample time. And it's time out. My wife preached a message one time. Recess is over. Come on off the playground. Come on off the merry-go-round. Come on off the monkey bar. Come on off the sliding board. Time is up for us to be playing around. It's getting late in the evening, and the sun is going down. Let's be about our father's business. Come on. Can we just get it together? Praise the Lord. We'll be streaming tomorrow live on YouTube and Facebook at 12 noon. Please join and worship with us while Ella Joe Carter will bringing up, be bringing us the message for Sunday noon. God bless you, and may heaven continue to smile upon you. Lord Jesus, we thank you. We praise you for your goodness. We praise you for your mercy. We praise you for your keeping power and your saving grace. Lord, continue to bless us that, and help us to know that we are your people. Help us, oh God, and continue to give us an ear that we might hear with what the Spirit have to say unto the church. We thank you this evening. We praise you. We're asking that you look on the sick and afflicted, look on the sloth and the unconcerned. Look on that sinner man, boy, girl. Help us all to realize that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. We thank you right now, O oh God, and we praise you in Jesus' name. God bless you, and may heaven continue to smile upon you in Jesus' name.